Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. No so much fun video on this 2004 Toyota Matrix XR which has only 111,000 miles on the clock. So it was sitting in the yard for almost a year. You can see those co-webs and so on. You can see here the moss growing on it. So it's all dirty. I already removed so much stuff from it. Do you, do you see it? How it's all dirty and it has that surface rust. There is a cowweb still. Not sure if you see it. Yeah. So I'm just pulling, when I have a gloves, I'm pulling a lot of stuff out of it. The owner hired me for very detailed inspection and now she approved all the maintenance which needs to be done so that's a good news she wants to take care of the baby i was checking the shoes in the rear drums they're actually good but you can see how much stuff it's hanging off it right so it's dirty it has that surface crap all over and when i'm working under this is what i discover it was towed here yesterday Look at this. The tow person apparently didn't use any of these hooks, which will be mystery to us. There's not one scrape on any of these dedicated tow hooks. There's nothing. It was a young kid. Didn't look like experienced person. It was a young kid. Actually, you saw it in previous video, the tow truck. Not the person. Look at that. So he apparently used these spots and put the hooks to pull it. I don't know from where. I wasn't there. It was the owner who was in charge of it. This kid goes and rips this car open. You can see this is brand new. There's no dust. There's nothing. It's ripped, right? So it was a one hook, one chain coming forward. And guess what? He managed the same on the other side. You can see here clearly it was coming forward. So I took pictures, put it in my detail inspection. I send it to the owner and also we called the company to come and look at it. And I know these tow companies, all of them have horrible reputation. I should have not be surprised what happened when that manager came this morning and looked at it. I shouldn't have been surprised I'm still like, wow. And this is what he did. He shows up here. I show him this fresh damage, right? He starts talking about these plugs being upside down. He says, well, well, I wonder, uh, I, I wonder what happened. These plugs are upside down. This is no way. Look at it, look at it. And he starts changing them. So this was inside in the cabin, right? It's completely clean. And he starts going around, moving those plugs. Now I have to put it back of the camera. He's like, look, all of it. Look, this is all wrong. Look, this plug, somebody was doing something with it. This is all wrong. This is not supposed to be like that. It's, it's a, somebody was messing up with it. Uh, yeah, uh, look at his plugs. Look, come and I will show you. L look, and he starts like he, he's going to change them, flip them around, all of them. I'm like, bro, enough, enough of this. I'm like, are you telling me that from the factory in Japan where they made it, it's all they put the plugs, or what are you even trying to say here? 
And he said, come, come and look all these plaques. Come and look at them. Uh, yeah. I'm like, you know what? Enough. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to see how you're flipping them around. Just leave it alone. If the owner wants, she will be calling you. He's like, yeah, look, look, this is, what is this felt doing right here? I'm like, that's the carpeting in the car. That's how it was made. Oh, no, 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 something, something's wrong here. I'm like, we are done. You can go if the owner wants to call you. Tell me what's your name. If she decides to follow up on this, that's up to her. I have nothing else to talk to you about. Everything has a super heavy rust on this car. It's dirty. It's wrapped in the dirt, mud. That was like a wasp nest, right? You, you know what I'm talking about. Everything is super dirty and messed up. And suddenly here is fresh, ripped steel. And the guy will be talking to me about flipping those plaques and that something's wrong and something was done here incorrectly. Give me a break. I don't deal with tow companies. I don't ever get any vehicles towed to my shop. Not the old one. There was no place. I was also always alone, so I couldn't deal with cars which are not moving. So it's confirmed. It still shocks me how arrogant these people are, how just don't care about your property. They told this like 10 miles or 11 miles, the bill was $120. It's a huge rip off. And they get away with it every day across the country. Who knows how many cars they're destroyed because their reckless behavior and being in hurry, of course, they are in hurry to make more money, so they rush and they don't care. It's too bad. I just want to share it with you. It is what it is. Now it's between the owner and the tow company if she wants to follow on it. Just when you will use any tow, be there, watch them, make sure that you have pictures of everything and ideally watch what they are doing, where they are hooking, so they don't damage your car. Oof, awful video. Thank you for watching and be subscribed. I have way more better content coming your way soon. See ya.